Hello, welcome to Tears of the Kingdom. We have waited quite a long time for this, and uh, so have I. Um, we as a community, I mean. I also tried to record this video um, the day the game came out, but it got incredibly desynced. All of the, I just, I couldn't use the footage. So I'll be replaying the game today. Let's go ahead and waste no time and get started. Yeah, there we go. That looks much better. I don't know what settings I changed. I, who knows? This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. Dark and mysterious. I like it. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? What could be down here indeed, Princess Zelda of Hyrule? Hmm. Controls already. Let's go. Let's go explore. What's it down here? Oh. Water. Am I allowed to swim? Is the water deep enough for me to even be able to swim, I guess? Zelda's just over there like, Link, stop messing around. Oh. What do we got? Also, my right Joy-Con is drifting. Uh, but that's better than my left Joy-Con drifting, which was in the original recording. And I almost died. It seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. So the gloom can hurt us? Question mark? With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. Yeah, we probably should go do something about that, Zelda. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. Mm -hmm. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Mystery detectives, let's go. Zelda and Link. So uh, I watched a, um, I think it was like a TikTok of, I can't remember what it was, but it was, um, where, like, all of the future print... I mean, timeline... The, N Nintendo has thrown out the timeline at this point. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, be like, the original Zelda was named Zelda in Skyward Sword, so the legend goes. And then all the other Zel uh, Zeldas are named Zelda after that because... Um, huh? Oh, what did Zelda find? Uh, but anyways, all the Zeldas after that are named Zelda be after the first Princess Zelda. The Master Sword. Ah, yes, it has turned into Sting. Which... <laughs> I must be something, sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the, the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. <gasps> we must be careful as we move deeper. I, unfortunately, cannot do a good British accent, so I won't try. <laughs> I will swing my sword, sword, sword my diamond, sword. <laughs> And, uh, it also, for some reason, faces through Zelda. I don't know if she has magical, uh, oh, maybe it's, like, in Percy Jackson, where, um, uh, it's, like, she's a mortal, and this is made of celestial bronze, so, uh, it just slides right through here, through her, and does nothing. Ooh, what are we looking at, Zelda? Ooh, some text. Can you read it? These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these runes be from the Zonai? Which, apparently, if we walk a little bit further, uh -huh. are goat people or something. I don't know. They look like goats to me. Uh -huh. These carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like these in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Mm. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none gives us the full picture. Much is, uh, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Like I said in my first playthrough, if I don't get to fly in a loft wing, I will be severely upset. I mean, I know you can make like tons of uh, cool like uh, machine Joy Cons. Stop drifting, please. I I'm not touching my controller right now, just for the record. This is going to happen all series. I, I need to get these fixed somehow. Is this what the Zonai look like? They look like goat people? They seem so different from us. And such large ears. 
How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Indeed, Zelda. Let's see, what do we find down here? Let me get my sword ready just in case. Oh, well, that was good. Ah. There we go. You are not hurt, are you, Link? No, I am completely fine, because I have a sword, but for some reason I have no shield. So, um, what was I saying? I was saying something. I don't know. Look at these murals. All right, this is the part where uh, Zelda gets to nerd out. <sighs> the written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Whoever designed these mur murals is fantastic. Like, is give possible? them a raise. Do these murals depict the same legend? Possibly. It looks like it. <gasps> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. There's a weird depiction this of Hylians, but sure. This suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Well, so I know Zelda, or Legend of Zelda basically erased its timeline when Just they released uh, Breath of the Wild. The first of Hyrule's royal family. But the union with how much of that, that are the they, um, what's it called? Sa savoring? Salvaging? Salvaging, story. I think is the word I'm looking for. And if they are How much are they salvaging the from, like, the, the original timeline where, like, start, it started with, with Skyward Sword, um, together to establish wait, I just remembered something that I remember someone Hyrule. saying before the game released. I'm gonna keep it to myself until to the, until we get more of the story the of this kingdom. game. all aligns with what I've read during my studies. Oh. And then this, it shows the Demon King. It does. I wonder and if he has a name. Battle against him. I am such a Zelda lore uh, aficionado. Really does I know basically King. everything. Then... Oh. Also, seeing Zelda like this, I feel like Incredible. Very interesting way she goes about this her research must studies be the great and stuff. War recorded in the royal histories. And Link is just there like This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link! This is a huge discovery. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Right, then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. Also known I'm as a camera. We leave it behind. Didn't it's we so have a record. camera in the previous game, though? Well, I guess Zelda r was, like, locked in a castle, so she didn't know. Well, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Where did the bomb room go? Bomb, bomb rune. Bomb rune. Where did the bomb rune go? Just that, what is I feel this like that would be kind of useful here. Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. We don't have a she our Sheikah Slate anymore, Let's unfortunately. Keep deeper. So, let's keep going, then. Here we go. Further into the ruins. Oh, there's more gloom, I guess, here. Look at me. Stepping on the gloom. Do -do 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 -do. Stepping on the gloom. Do -do 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 -do. I step on the gloom. I step on the gloom. You cannot stop me from stepping on the gloom. Anyway. <laughs> Is that like... I I'm I really want them. As much as I like want them to do new stuff and like... Bring, uh, do more cool stuff that we haven't seen before, like story-wise and also just design-wise. Uh, I'm I'm gonna pause because I know there's a cutscene down here. Um, as much as I would like to see them do cool new cool stuff story-wise, uh, let's pause here because I want to talk. As much as I want to see them do cool stuff story new new stuff like story-wise and also uh, like design-wise, I really would love it if they brought back either the Loft Wings. Or the Twilight, which is what it looks like. 
I'm... I mean, we'll, we'll see. I haven't seen much of the game, personally. So let's get going into what we've already seen from the trailer. Ah, my game... It's, it's lagging. Let me see what I can do here. There we go. Okay. We're back. It's lagging. I think we're just going to have to deal with that. I can't really do anything about it, which is unfortunate. But you know what? I, I'll take it. Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. I don't know why my game is lagging. It's very what annoying. Is that? I have it at 30. I'm recording at 30. I don't know. I'm doing my best, everyone. <laughs> Oh, that, I feel like that was important and that needed to be there. I'm not sure. Also, I feel like that is one of the tiers of the kingdom that we need to go collect. But I have also played one part of this game, so who knows. Oh. Yep, trailer time. Wait, it also looks like he had one of those tears in his head. Also, very interesting explanation for why we only have three hearts in this game. Link. Also, this animation is fantastic. It's Mad Mercer. The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you. The Sage of Light, you mean? And that was Yeah, it does look like do. he has Wait. No one needs. Oh my, oh, oh, my brain is draining right, so hard right now. Ganondorf, come on. We just got back the castle from your Calamity version. Really, we just, we just put a new down payment on the castle. You had to go and destroy it. Really? Come on. Come on, dude. Dude, really. Really? And there goes Zelda. This, seriously, this amina animation, yes. This animation is phenomenal. Fantastic. Nintendo has real seriously outdone themselves. Which I didn't know if they, I, I, honestly. I am very surprised that they did, that, uh, at how, how good this is and stuff. So, uh, I am very, very optimistic seeing this, just seeing this, I'm very optimistic to see what, uh, Nintendo is bringing us in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Cause it looks fantastic from like the first 10, 30 minutes of the game or however long I've been playing. Sorry about that. I had to fix my capture card. I really hope this doesn't become a recurring problem and I don't know why it is. Because it shouldn't be. It wouldn't tell me it's dropping frames. I'm only using like a quarter of my CPU. And the rest of it is... Um, why am I... Why, oh, yeah. The rest of it is running my, my face cam. So, I don't know. Probably. I don't think the Switch itself is lagging. But, eh, I don't know. We have a new arm. And it has 
fingernails for some reason. Oh, Link, finally you wake. God? Hello? I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Have you now? Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury... It's lagging you. again. And I don't know why. I think it's better now. Yeah. Okay. I seriously need to figure out my my workflow here. Cuz since um since I was streaming last, I really <laughs> uh redid everything on my computer. So we got the Decayed Master Sword, the sword that seals the darkness. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. Because yes, that's its name. Let's go. Come on. Okay, yes. I know how to play the game. Can I turn those off? Is that is there any way to turn that off? Um throw no, no, that's not that's the HUD. I want tutorials off. Well I guess like there's new stuff, so I'm gonna want the tutorials on for that, but old stuff I don't care about the tutorials for. Ooh. Unlock. We get to unlock something? Ooh, fancy. I only say I don't think the switch is lagging because when I recorded this the first time, it wasn't. And I think it's because I'm recording at such a high um, resolution because I have to be, uh, is why it's doing that. And I don't know how to fix it other than doing... Honestly, I don't know... Uh, I need to figure this out, but eh. We 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 have fun here. <laughs> we try to have fun here on uh, the City Bound Forest channel. Anyways, let's jump in. We. I think I fixed it. Whatever was wrong. Because it doesn't seem to be lagging now. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. We splash. Okay. And moving onward. Whee! Splash! Landing in water even from a great height will prevent you from taking fall damage. That's not how that works in the real world. Oh, we get an item. Or we get something. That is some really cool design right there. Arcade legwear. Simple classic legwear. They're well worn and showing their age, but they've still got a few good years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. Interesting. Let's put those on. Ta ta! And now we... Oh, light. Here we are. Are they going to do the same thing that they did in uh, in Breath of the Wild? I think they are. This looks fantastic. And also incredibly intimidating. Oh, I wonder what that is. Can I... I can't mark anything yet. Also, Link has long hair. I don't know how I feel about that, but here we go. Oh, he, now they're doing it. Okay. Whoa. It's a dragon. I see a dragon over there. Mm. And the music continues to just be absolute ama absolutely amazing. All good music comes from Zelda games. No other, there's no other good music, just Zelda games. <laughs> this is fantastic. And there's our logo that we got. Is the game lagging? I can't tell. 
No, it's not. Okay. It just looks weird. And... Water! Let's get onto one of these pads. Regenerate stamina for a second. And here we go. Great Sky Island. We started on the Great Plateau first, and then now we have the Great Sky Island. Yes, I know how... Uh, I know how to switch things. I say trying to jump and then putting my sword away for instead. I'm getting back into my old swing of things with Breath of the Wild. Let's go ahead and collect some more mushrooms. Things I can't actually eat in real life because I'm allergic to them. You. Oh. Your weapon is mine now. And what do you drop? A Zonai charge. Interesting. And a soldier construct horn. Is that all? That is all. Okay. Ooh, another tree branch. Might as well co collect it. Ooh. What's this? Wind stick. Here we are. Getting some actually good weapons. In the beginning of the game. What's over here? Interesting. Is this like... This used to be like a temple or, so or something? Okay. Oh, are we lagging again? Kind of. We're dropping frames. I can't really tell. Who are you? Oh. Who are you? What are you? When are you? Oh, hello. Interesting magic we have here. Link. Oh, wait, I can I can use my robot voice for this. <clears throat> Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. This is the Pura Pad. I am told it is an, an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. It's, yeah, Zelda had this. Ta -da. It looks like the Sheikah Slate, but it's not. It's the Pura Pad. Yes. I received it from Princess Zelda. Wait, where? From where? Where did you where did you find her? I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Uh where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. Interesting. Hmm. That doesn't look like the Temple of Time that I remember. But no more. Yeah, now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Ooh. A door? Find Princess Zelda. Objective. Get. Is this a door? Or perhaps... Oh, it's a bridge. Nice. Bridge time. That is a really cool, like, puzzle kind of bridge thing. Let's go. Oh, if your stamina will... Yes, I know about the stamina. What's in here? Anything? Ooh, nice. So, are the Zonai kind of like the guardians or something? Ooh, time to jump. Whee! Splash. Oh, fish. Oh, no, frog. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I am. There we go. Oh, hello. You. Come here. I know you have the high ground, but I can hit you with a stick. Moving forward. Let's see. Where does this path lead us? to the Temple of Time, it looks like. What's underneath this grate? Oh, nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not look down. 
Oh. Nope. Bye bye. A long stick. Nice. And it's la la and my camera is lagging again. One moment. Or my not camera, my game. Does that work better? I think it's better. Okay. Now then. Onwards. I don't know where that third one came from. I'm pretty sure there was only two. No matter. You look like a friendly person, so I will ignore you. Because I know how to play the game, and I don't need tutorials. I am very interested to see... Because I know... Um, uh, the game reads your save data from Breath of the Wild if you have it on there and uh, reads your horses and puts them in the game. I want to see if they do anything else with that. Oh, hello. How dare you smack me like so like that? I don't even have a shield. This is unfair. Well, Time to eat all of the food that I have. Uh, act two of eating all the food that I have. Yay! Ooh, a broadsword. Yeah, I know. And finally we have a shield. Moving onwards. Oh, here's the Temple of Time. I guess we can go. Is it like one of the, it is one of those door things. Let's go. And we get to go meet Zelda now, except for we don't. I know this part, I've played through it. I'm not surprised. Because now we get to meet that door goat will person. Open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. Oh. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. It's a goat I guy. Am... Goat man. Goat man Raru. Source of the right arm. Also the name of the light sage from Ocarina of Time. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. I wonder if that has anything to do with this game. I no we'll longer see. have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. You have very Seems long hair, my guy. The power to do so. Or mane? I don't know. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Of At first, course. I thought he was King Daphne, so handsome Hyrule. But that's the ghost, uh, the tutorial ghost from the first game. Spoilers if you haven't watched my playthrough of that, or you haven't played it yourself. But at this point, the game is five yes, years old. I'm I think sure I can spoil it. This is also like a direct sequel to that game. So, like, if you haven't seen, if you haven't played or watched that game, what are you doing here? Go, go watch, go play or watch that game. It's great. Okay, yes, I know. Thank you. Let's uh, take out our Pura pad and we. Ta ta. Although I kind of already see how to get there. I do need to be careful. I don't have my paraglider though, so. Um, can I like jump down? Is that something I can do? Yes, kind of. Well, okay, we're fine. <laughs> uh, let's find more things to eat so that I can not die in my first 30th uh, hour of playing this game. I hear an enemy already, and I will choose to ignore it. 
Oh, it has a bow. Actually, I won't choose to ignore it because I want that bow. Hey, where'd that bow go? Thanks for the arrows. And a bow. Yes, I know how. Hooray. We have we have a long range weapon. Which is effectively how I like to I like to do long range. I'm either like a ranger or a stealth build. Oh, I can't get over Ah I went up the wrong mountain. Dang. You ever just go up the wrong mountain? You ever have that you ever have that struggle? I'm gonna die. Nope. Aw, oh, dang it, my broadsword's dead. Well, at least I got another weapon in place of it. Uh, how do I get here? Well, what is that? Ta ta. It seems like this setting is the most stable. Oh, uh, let's regenerate uh, stamina for a sec. Yeah, it seems like this setting for my capture card is the most stable. I think I'll, I'll settle on it. I don't remember what it is, but. Eh. Set it and forget it. It's my motto. I wonder what that's about. Hmm, I guess we'll see. The Uko Shrine. Is my arm wet from still from in being in the uh what's it called? Uh the river. Also, this effect is my favorite in the game. Because it's a portal and it's like you so like if you go around here it's not showing that but if you go over here it's like deeper into the thing and it's like that is such a hard effect to do like without some uh, like a lot of compute I'm just I'm Nintendo has absolutely outdone themselves and I love it of course they don't like it's not a seamless transition of oh you get to now go into the shrine it's a low it, it, you have to get go through a loading screen but still it's really cool I will, I will game design nerd about that shit. Oh, come on. I spoke too soon about that, this preset. I might just have to keep switching presets every so often, which is annoying. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with the light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Now then, extend your hand. Here. Oh, it's ability time. What ability are we getting? And it's lagging. What is happening? I will try my best to keep this uh, this frame rate as stable as possible. Because the game itself isn't lagging. Mm. My capture card is, and I don't know why. This is the Ultra Hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be uh, able to build, uh, build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. Goodbye, goat, uh, ghost goat man. Okay, here we go. Ta-ta! And... There it is. This is where we get to attach things to other things. It's effectively like it replaces the magnesis. Okay, so we do. And then we uh, pull it towards us. And then we go attach it. Attach. Da ta! And now. Ooh. Nope. Uh, ah! Ah. Oh, I did that wrong. There we go. My capture card is annoying me. If anyone knows how to how I don't uh, how to fix this, uh, so I don't have to keep doing this, I am all ears. So feel free to let me know. Okay, first, uh, I remember how to do this part. Do that first. Get it in the right plot. The right spot, and then we 
attach this here. And then we this, yank it free. And then sort of rotate it around. That's not exactly what I wanted to do, but you know what? It'll get the job done. And it's lagging. Okay. I'm just going to deal with the lag and be annoyed. Because I don't know what's causing it. I legitimately do not. It shouldn't be that my can't be it's because I'm recording at a higher high resolution because my computer can take it. You have done well to reach this place. It's a Zonai and a Hylian. Interesting. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Nata. Ooh. Yoop. And into my hand it goes. Zonai magic. Purifying some of the gloom out of my arm. The light of blessing. Hooray. I guess that's like the blessing of the goddess or something like that from uh, Breath of the Wild. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. I wonder if that like um like tiered thing that that design is going to be prevalent throughout the game. I sense some lag. Ah yes, blue. Oh. You did very well getting through that shrine and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Mm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Purpada offers you a very... I know. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Now, where be they? Um, oh, I just saw one. Right there. And where's the other one? Is it up here? No, that, that's the, I think that's the temple. No. It's up there. All the way up there. That looks like a fun place to get to. How far away are they? Let's see. Interesting. One all the way over here. Didn't I start up here? I like... Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, um... Gotta go all the way across, and then all the way across again. I think we'll go to the blue one first. Uh, just because it looks the closest, just by an eye by eyeball. Um, and, yeah. But in any case, thank you all for watching uh, my first play of Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, if you like this video, get, uh, consider giving me a like and subscribe to see more Tears of the Kingdom content. I'm also going to be continuing my Genlock series and also my Breath of the Wild series from uh, my Twitch streams. Uh, sadly, I am not going to be playing any more Genshin anymore just because i kind of gotten bored with the game it, uh, itself. But the other two series I will be continuing as well as bringing y'all uh, a lot more uh, coming soon. So make sure y'all are subscribed so you don't miss any of that. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, what other, uh, Mastodon. You can follow me on Mastodon as well. I'm uh, at Citybound Forest on all of those. There are links down in the description for all of that as well. Uh, you can go follow me on there and get updates as to when I post content from either on my YouTube channel here or whenever I do uh, other stuff like uh, music releases and stuff like that. But in any case, thank y'all for watching. Don't trip on the roots on your way out, and I will see y'all around the forest on the next one. Bye-bye.